All right, next up is a conversation with Microsoft Chief Product Officer Panos Panay and General Manager of Apps and Endpoints, Wangui McKelvey. They'll discuss why Windows 11, aka the foundation that lights up Microsoft 365, powers hybrid work. Go ahead and give it a watch. All right, hello everybody. I hope you're having a great day so far, and I really do hope you cut Jared's session this morning. How amazing is it to see how Windows 11 enables the future of hybrid work? And if you hadn't had a chance to see it, please go back and take a look at it. I'm here with Wangui today. Uh, talk about Windows 11 and what it means for commercial customers and IT pros. You know, I couldn't be more pumped to do so. Like it's going to be a fun time, but we're doing uh, we're doing it a little bit differently. Wangui, maybe maybe you can give us the lay, lay of the land here. Yes. So we have these really weird words that we have to try to insert into our answers. And if you get it, then you get a point. And okay. if, but the but the opposite thing is, if you say the word pumped, or if I say the word excited, okay. then we lose a point. Wait. So there's words the I words, have to say that's right. that I get a point for. Correct. And you get a point and for. And I get a point for, yes. And if I say pumped, yeah, which you, I already did. Yeah, I so that, that's a negative one already, yes. So that's a negative two. Yes, that's right, two now. So now I'm just... Now you just... I can't like, say pumped? Doesn't no, that seem odd? It does seem odd for you, but we're, we're going to try it. It's about it just getting out of our nor that's normal right. flow. Yeah, and right. excited is my word. All right, let's word. try that. Apparently I say excited a lot, so... You do? Yeah. All right, okay, well, let's do this. So as you know, as you know, Wangui, we just launched Windows 11 on October 5th. Uh, it's been an incredibly exciting time for the team, for our fans, for our commercial customers. But if I were to ask you, like, what do you think our commercial customers are most excited about? I'm just curious. So my favorites really are Snap Assist and Docking. These are amazing for multitasking and moving around your workspace, wherever that might be. But for IT pros, I think it's that Windows 11 is so easy to deploy and manage it's similar to taking a Windows 10 feature update, and the App Compact is so seamless. So when you and the team were building Windows 11, what were some of the things you focused on from the beginning for commercial customers? Yeah, okay, there was a lot. There were a lot of things, because you, when you think about your customer base, you think about the PC itself, and like, <laughs> there's a lot, but what really stood out, like, it, and we have to get feedback at all times, and we continue to get it, it is just better security, and in a time, uh, when how and where we use PCs has continued to shift and they've become more essential right now more than they've ever been. And we see that intensity of usage, no doubt, and how people are using them. So, I mean, there are no shenanigans here. All right, we know that our commercial customers need security as we look into the future, uh, especially as we think more about hybrid work. There's no question in security. That is so true, and it is not malarkey. We've seen in our research that 75% of security decision makers, VP and above, feel that the move to hybrid work leaves their organizations more vulnerable to security threats. No doubt, no doubt. And it's, I mean, look, Windows 11 is designed to raise the bar on security. It's pretty rad. From chip to cloud, right out of the box, enabling protections. Think Windows Hello, think device encryption, uh, VBS or virtual based security, HVCI, uh, or hypervisor protected code integrity, and secure boot. Like this combination has been shown to reduce malware by 60%, which is critical. So, as you think about your customers, as you think about your businesses, like reducing malware, the value of that, uh, it, is, it is awesome. I'm, I'm pumped about it. It is gnarly because it comes right out of the box that way. <laughs> it really is. We have security verification built in and turned on by default. Windows 11 is tailor-made to support hybrid work scenarios securely when a new device is deployed remotely and turned on for the first time. One of the amazing things about Windows 11 is the openness of the platform and the choice it enables for customers, developers, and gamers, but also in the hardware. Panos, can you tell us a little bit about how you think about that? You, as you think about the OS coming together, truly bringing experiences to life for our customers, and it comes to life first and foremost on the hardware. I mean, it really does. We want to be there with every single Windows 11 device for everyone as we just launched. Like, you have a choice. That's what matters. And we just launched the Surface devices. The OEMs launched some incredible innovation with Windows 11. I can't tell you. I'm pumped about it. I mean, they're almost as cool as the Fonz. I, know, I mean, I had to say the Fonz. I don't even know. How, do you, how does anyone fit in the Fonz in a <laughs> sentence? Look, that broad portfolio. Uh, of, of new devices with the secure Windows 11 hardware. It not only empowers our customers to get the advanced security they need, 
the innovation they want to go after, but ultimately delivering powerful hybrid work scenarios with the features that we have in Windows 11. It also is delivered through the cloud with Windows 365, wherever and however you may want to work. I mean, the combination of all those things between Windows 11 and Windows 365 just gives so much opportunities for our customers. Because we want our customers to always have access to Windows 11. We're not trying to bamboozle them. We want them to have it on any device, and now they can with Windows 365. Windows now works whenever and wherever you do, on a device or a cloud PC. Uh, just tell me bamboozled was one of the words you had to say. Is it, was it? It was. Oh yeah, right. I'm just making sure. Because <laughs> look, don't be an ostrich, um, okay? Don't yeah. be stubborn. I think ostriches are stubborn. Yeah. I'm not 100% sure, yeah. but don't be an ostrich. Right. Now this was just a sample of what Windows 11 has to offer, of course, but there's a ton of other sessions happening across Ignite, including a breakout session with Wanguli and Aiden Marcus, focusing on specific investments in Windows 11 for our commercial customers, for you. I mean, that session is going to be awesome. And there's also some great on-demand sessions too. John Cable and Windows Engineers bring you the 11 things every organization in IT Pro should know about Windows 11. Scott Manchester and Melissa Grant will discuss Windows in the Cloud for hybrid work with Windows 365. And you can join us to ask the experts and check out some deep dive sessions as well in the Video Hub and on the tech community. All right, okay. this was great. I tried to use ostrich and rollerblades, <laughs> but my brain couldn't do it. I mean, put on a pair of rollerblades, ride around, and uh, enjoy the sessions of Ignite. Thanks so much for having us, Ignite, and we'll see you next time.